What's up, folks? Back with another episode on the OSX channel. Uh, Overland Survival Expeditions. Uh, that's what we focus on here. So, I just wanted to bring you a quick, short little intro before we get into the walk around of your basic Overland Stage 1 build. So, go ahead and enjoy. Like, share, subscribe. If you found this useful. I'll leave some links down below, obviously, to the gear um, when I get to that point. But this is basically just uh, the beginning of the channel. So, appreciate it. 2000 Chevy Suburban 2500. Got the cattle guard on there. Fresh little wash. Got it cleaned up. Of course, it rained when it wasn't supposed to rain till this weekend, but that's okay. Good 10 ply tires, tires are great. 80 pounders. I got some uh, blackout uh, window, sun shades, the rain guards. 20% uh, tint match the window tint up front. It's 2,500, four by four obviously, uh, six liter. 4L80. So far what I've done to it, air filter, cabin air filter, um, fluids front to back, brakes are solid, uh, it's got hydro boost, um, front, rear differential have been serviced, transfer case, um, I dropped the pan, did a uh, transmission filter, and then I did the fluid service as well. Oil change has been done twice. Sea foam to fuel tank twice. 40 gallon tank. So you can get quite a bit of fuel in here. Moving on to the inside. Um, so again, 20% tint match. Had full detail. I went ahead and did insulation, new carpet, and then did some good uh, Goodyear floor mats. Little GoPro dash mount. It up, got great oil pressure. I always keep it at three quarters and up. You know, half tank's a minimum for me. You know, I like to I like to have the full rig ready to go. Anyway, custom cup holder. Um, the center piece here, the cup holders, they didn't have. So they must have broke it. Or something I don't know what happened uh, they just didn't have it so I transferred this in and this actually just slides right into the seat and it has uh, extra compartments under there as well I don't use got my mozzie oak knee pad keep extra bottles of water of course um, just a quick if you need to get out and look under the vehicles it's better than have your knees in the concrete or the gravel or the dirt you throw that knee pad down great you can sit on it whatever you know keep a couple tape measures because the field of work I'm in I up quick, keep all my books, reading, maps, shit like that, more camera mounts and gears, just, you know, money and uh, business books, really, 50 states book, you know, traveling shit, hunting shit, fishing shit, little diary, keep a dry erase board as well, uh, yeah, Goodyear floor mats, that pretty much sums it up, I keep my Cobra 22 mile radius walkie talkies keep those up top and I did test them out and they do work it's got rear AC and rear heat it works great I did a full AC service as well on that just covers that come to the back here this is where you can enter um, everything is pretty much accessible um, in the vehicle minus the stuff that's under my platform that I built so I built a custom platform for this um, you know, cut to fit carpet. They didn't have carpet or insulation, so I did that. I blackouts here. These are just window insulators. Uh, you know, block shit out. Blocks the light. It's called blackout shades. Um, I'm gonna do a curtain eventually through here. This is my electrical box. Um, this is for my secondary system. I'm gonna run a two battery system. So I have everything here except for the second battery. I got it all wired up under here. Uh, this is where it comes out, stubbed out here. So when I get ready, um, I just need to install the battery, make a couple quick connections, and everything's ready to go. 
I'll go in depth more on the box here later, but right now, not really worried about that uh, because I have a solar generator. So if that supplies all my electrical needs, um, for right now, fishing net, I keep a couple buckets. One's a tool bucket, one's a fishing bucket, and then one just extra spare bucket, you know, um, for whatever. Um, they're all brand new and clean. I haven't even had to use them besides the tool bucket just because it makes it convenient. I keep some extra gear here. We got, uh, if we need to get under the vehicle, you know, I got my mechanic jumpsuit, full body, a weather suit, you know, a couple extra pieces of gear. This one container here, this one is a 40 gallon sleeping pad just in case you camp outside, which I don't use, so just have it. Nice heavy duty uh, military sleeping bag, extra fleece blanket, keep a hatchet. Opinion set full detail again. Like I said, three times I went through this thing uh, just to make sure it's to my standard. Um, yeah, it's not bad at all. Very comfortable, you know. Usually I buy fixed vehicles and then sell them and then buy them and fix them and sell them. And here's my bucket system again, uh, electrical box. This is my go bag, that's everything I need. Hatchets, knives, this is a uh, foldable shovel, hatchet, ax, hoe, um, everything in here you need to survive. You know, this is that go bag, 72 hour. Uh, you know, making it my custom little piece, uh, just the overland rig, kind of um, everything you need to work and to live, really, uh, in this thing. This is stage one. Oh, the other thing I didn't mention, so this is what I'm doing for refrigeration. It fills part of that space in the middle uh, behind the driver's seats. That's just my 25-quart marine cooler. That's what I use right now until I get my Dometic 40-liter fridge, and that's going to be one hell of an upgrade. So... Uh, now, so immediately what you can see here laying on top of the mattress, I have a solar panel. This is going to be roof mounted and I'm also going to get another uh, what's called a suitcase solar panel. Um, it's like foldable and flexible and shit. That's going to be the one I'm going to use for my solar generator. Otherwise, right now, currently what I do, uh, this thing runs everything I need no problems for a couple days so I'm good there this will charge off a cigarette lighter it'll charge off a wall and it'll also hook into the solar panel that was part of this kit but this is just going to be a solid mount for my dual battery system and I'm going to go ahead and get a flexible foldable one for this just to keep this system more portable and to keep the other system dual battery system is going to be more permanent we'll get to uh the setup here oh also my solar light so this charges through the back glass and at nighttime this lights up this is a 1100 watt uh, light super bright it's a two stage and i just you know swing the door open like this and i can put the light wherever i want it lights up the whole campsite um, this is a backsplash for my stove here what's going to happen is i'm going to have a fold down um, deal here that i'm not finished with yet and my stove is going to mount there so that way i got a place for cooking Shit like that. This side, I haven't decided what I'm gonna do with this yet, but this is still open space. Keep a fire extinguisher, obviously, of course. Safety first. Let me set this down and get the back open. I'll just, and then we'll go through my gear, some of the gear I keep with me. This, like I said, this is just my stage one package right now. My folding camp chair. This is great, lightweight for fishing, hunting. It's got a shoulder sling. And then I believe this is the one gallon or a half gallon zipper sack. So, I'll go ahead and show you guys how we open the back and then we'll go through that quick before the video gets any longer. So, as you guys seen with the hinges up front, just that one long hinge, what you do, this is my pillow, Mazda yoke of course, it's uh, called the Gita seat, made in the USA, but pretty simple. Get this to one end, lift up, copy it. This is my two kickstand setup. I built these little kickstands. That way you're not having to constantly hold, lift up here to try and hold it and then reach under and get stuff. So that's why I did that. We'll start from the back. I don't know if you guys can see that. 
So the big yellow, this is a 40 gallon here in the big in the back. That is almost damn near full of food. There's like 50 pounds of rice. I got everything. Fucking 10 pounds of chicken, you know, beans, soup. You know, just a bunch of canned goods, a bunch of dry foods, you know, family packs, oatmeal. There's a lot of shit in there, a lot of food. Um, Come to this one. This is where I keep my stove. This is a big bag of sauce. I usually don't use sauce when I go to fast food, but I always just take sauce anyway. This is like two pounds, just a full big Taco Bell. It's got every restaurant, Popeyes, McDonald's, Arby's, everywhere. I got sauce from everybody. Plus I have sauce in the thing, vinegar, all that shit. So, socket set. This is my tool system here, floor jack. Uh, all tools are right through this middle section here. This is all tools. So I got two bags, got all my power tools, chargers, hand tools, everything you need to do to do roadside mechanic work and construction, I have here. So back to this box, this is all Stanley stuff in here. I got the Stanley uh, cook pot set. No, we're just gonna skip that because it's kind of unorganized right now. I'll just tell you what's in it. Everything is Stanley, uh, cook sets, all that good stuff. This box, all supplies, cleaning, soaps, toiletries, matches, fire, light, heat, everything is in that. It's all just extra gear. I keep a two-week water supply, but I'm going to double up on this. This is, you know, a uh, half gallon a day if it's not the summertime. So this is two weeks for me. I got two of these little USB fans that plug into my solar generator. They run all night, no problem. And they literally take like a couple percent. So um, I got my Shakespeare, obviously uh, bait caster. This is the Shakespeare Alpha. I do a lot of fishing, love it. Um, just some, uh, what is this, Apple, Apple wood pellets, pry bars, more tools. Now I have my clothing. This is my whole Nike duffel bag full of just work clothes, summer clothes, winter clothes, everything. Uh, more storage under here. This is all under the mattress and under the platform here. So this is all hidden away. Um, but these are just open really. That's just an extension cord. That's just an empty box. D-rings, uh, electric battery powered night light candle, pellets, uh, my other paracord hatchet, Make sure I'm in the shot here. Hammers, lights. Um, that's pretty much the whole shebang right now. It's what I got. So. Just wanted to run through that with you quick. Give you one more walk around. So we got some mail. We got to go to work here pretty soon. Really not a bad little system though I may sell it for five grand but you really don't see these around too often <laughs> 